Hello guys and welcome to how to program something complex and this is my way how I do it and to program something complex that's for everyone a little bit different about how they are going to do it so I'm going to tell you how I am going to do it and how I think and how I do everything but if you guys think differently or do it differently um, you don't need to worry um, this is just the way I do it so just take what you like and don't do what you don't like um, and also just put it in the comments what your way is because everyone can learn from that um, so the very first thing I'm going to do always is defining the my main ID of the system so just saying for example if you've got a save and load system I'm just going to say the load system needs to have uh, that it can just open a file and just read it. So that's very simple. But then I'm going one step further. I'm going also going to say that it needs to open the file, or actually first it needs to find even the file, then it needs to open it, then it needs to read it, then it needs to uh, implement it within the game, and then it can, uh, can be closed again and you can further on go with whatever you want to do. So. This is kind of like the very first step I always take. I just say what the main idea is of the system. This is by the way something that if it's a very uh, simple uh, system, I don't necessarily need to do anymore. But this is something that um, if it's more complex, you will take more time to define every step of a program and everything it is going to do. Well, if you've got a simpler program, you don't need to do that. Um, also, the second thing I do is making a scheme, and that is, uh, well, not every time, but if I'm going to create something in which you got like a lot of um, decisions to be made, or the program is going to make a lot of decisions, you need to know what you're actually going to do. So, for example, if on the red uh, cube there is standing something like, um, should I eat breakfast? And then there's a yes and a no option and if this you're going to eat it and otherwise you don't you just run away directly that's kind of like uh, the main idea of this so you just know what is going to stand on here what is going to actually going to be the uh, if statement you're just going to put it right here and you know what's going to happen so you can just when you're going to program actually you are just going to uh, well it's going to be a lot simpler to know what you're going to do exactly so that's actually what we are now doing making sure that you understand what you're going to program. Then you're going to refine it. Um, this is something from Berg. Berg? I don't know how you speak it, but one of uh, the world's biggest composers. And as far as I know, I'm not entirely sure, he could just write it down directly out of his head. Um, he could just, when he just had something inside, uh, inside his head uh, from music, he could just write it down directly. You are not one of them you are not like him you cannot do that um, even though it's just a different uh, kind of uh, things you're going to do you cannot just directly do it right no one can and if you can you're just very special but you will see a lot of things that you think oh this uh, this wasn't like uh, the program is going to work so you just uh, remove it and you start again and it's just going to be messy at the end so you're just going to do it again you're just going to make it a little bit more uh, clear and then you do it uh, and you just check if everything is right and you do it again and that's like the refine step so now you've got three steps first you are defining it then you're making a scheme and then you're refining it then you are actually going to start it uh, start with programming the code so now you're going to uh, well, just programming the code and whatever you want to do, it's just going to put it in the if else and you're just going to make a whole bunch of functions. And that is now very simple um, because you know what you're going to do. Well, not entirely, but for the most part, you know what to do. So it's very simple. Then you are going to test it. So you test it and you discover, oh, it wasn't right. Um, this is wrong. This is missing. And you just start, well, the uh, programming and the test phase, you're just having like, you're just doing it again and again and again. And when you just think, well, my solution didn't work, you're just going back again with defining it and uh, making a scheme and refining it. So that's kind of like something you just need to find out if it works, if it doesn't work, you just need to 
well, reprogram it. So then the last step is actually increasing the user friendly. So this uh, the thing like code optimization, just removing everything which uh, you don't use. Because, for example, when I'm um, by myself just coding a lot of uh, code, um, when I just see that one line doesn't work properly, I just put it like a comment, so I still have it. So I can uh, just easier see what I did wrong there and what I did right, and I just can easier make the code better. But at the end, it's a little bit messy. So when I just finished almost the program, I just remove all those lines. And mostly the my is that if I just only program 500 lines of codes, already 100 of those lines are just, well, not used comments. So you just remove it. And then it's also a little bit more clear what is happening. So that's, uh, and then you are also going to implement it within your game and within your uh, whole system. And that's kind of like how I do it. Of course, it doesn't need necessarily uh, been your way of doing this, but I still hope you guys uh, learn something from this and well, maybe use it even uh, on your own projects. And if you did, please leave a like or a subscribe. That will be really uh, appreciated. And I see you guys next time with another video. Bye.